So my, it's been a day or two since my last recording, so uh, I might not have everything exactly as before. But this is my inventory. So now we're gonna head off to the Cooper Bros Fortress. Also, I've been doing some practice in another file and I was able to get to chapter three, close to beating that one. Uh, <laughs> Playing this practice, or playing in green mode is actually very fun. I'm enjoying it for the time being. It starts to get a lot more fun in later chapters because of the various badges you can collect. It really changes how you play the game. We're going to be coming up to something pretty cool, in my opinion. Uh, should I get the Thunder Rage? Yeah, I will. Space for an item. Gonna skip this Goomba. And then I'm gonna do something a little crazy here. I'm going to equip the Super Ultra and Mega Curse. I'm gonna switch to Goombario and hope I do not get hit. Okay. So you can see that they have uh, their health in a white bar. Uh, I'm going to tattle them because even though we see their health, that's because of the curses. It shows the health for you. That's just so if I get in a fight with the paratrooper later on. So we're just going to have to jump on both of them. Or we have to jump twice on both of the paratroopers, otherwise we are dead. Because they do 9 damage, I believe? Yeah. And so now, I'm probably going to fast forward through this, but yeah, we'll just have to go through all the health. There we go, finally. It was all worth it because we got 36 star points. We gotta level up out of it. I'm going to do... We'll do BP and use the FP plus badge. I gotta remember to take off those badges. Whenever I was playtesting, I always forgot to turn them off and so that would turn into a rude awakening whenever I would need to. Fire flower. Uh... Get rid of the pow blocks. We're not really. Actually. Get rid of the super shroom. We don't really need it. We really don't need to do these fights. I just wanted to show off that that fight and an easy way to gain experience in this mode. Uh, there's another fight, I think in chapter three, that's also a good way to get experience that I just found out. And I never thought I'd be using any of those in this playthrough because it's the 5 HP thing and you know pretty much if you get hit by one attack you're dead but I thought yeah what the heck I might try something new so 
So now we're in the Cooper Burroughs Fortress. There's gonna be, I think, a couple new enemies. I don't know why I attacked with Gumbario. That was supposed to be Mario there. Oh. I'm dead. <laughs> Oops. Good thing I saved before entering the... Entering Cooper Rose Fortress. And we're back. And that's why every time I see a save block, I save. Because who knows what kind of stupid thing I'll do. I'll just do this properly this time. I think I was still in the in like the the mindset of that last uh, paratrooper fight where I just have to use Gumbario in the back, Mario in the front, just jump. <laughs> All right. I think we can skip the fights in here. This is just, uh, bombs and cheap cheeps. We can get power bounce. It's not that good in this mod. It's like capped at like three bounces for five FP. Well, six FP, but since we get the, the one FP discount, it's five FP. Since we only have, like, one attack power and jumps, it's not really that good. Oh, did I not tattle? I might have tattled and then died in the same run. So let's do... Fire Flower, I believe. And then have Goombaria jump on the Cheap Cheap. Whenever I think these fights are interesting, I'll keep them in, but uh, as you've seen before, I've been cutting out some of the battles because there's some of the same layouts and they're not that interesting. So if I think a fight is interesting enough or if I have some interesting dialogue in that fight, I'll keep it in. Also, there's another double paratrooper fight, so I'm probably going to use the, uh, the curse thing again. Aw, oh, dang it. So let's do jump on this one. I'm going to have Gumbario jump on this one. We'll have Mario jump on this one. I could probably do Fire Flower. Probably should have done that. We'll take out this one. And should be dead next turn. Here, hmm. I think Dizzy Dale will be fine to use. Plus, it'll show off Dizzy too. 
For some reason, um... When a Koop Koopa is, um... Confused, there's the mist thing I was talking about. Uh, when they're confused, they don't perform an action when they're down. I don't, there's something in, in their code that causes that to happen. It's very bizarre. Because normally they would get up the turn they're knocked down, or turn after. Maybe that was fixed. Shade Blade fixed that. Yeah, it seems to be fixed. So I'm going to equip uh, the curse badges. Gotta hope I don't get lucky strikes. Actually, to prevent me from getting lucky strikes, I'm going to use a dizzy attack. Okay, it's just two Koopas, not two pair Koopas, but still the same thing applies. So I'm just going to speed this up for you guys' sake. Oh man, thank goodness. That took a long time. And now I gotta remember to take off those badges again. I don't have to worry about dying to these fires because I can't. So now I believe there's a save block I can go to. Or here or in the next room. So I never understood this whole thing. So like, there's like water down there, right? But that's when we fall down there. There's also the uh, where the bombs are being held, the bombs. How does that work? Is there like a layer of water and then the bomb prison? I'm confused. <laughs> like normally I would never think about it, but like. It's just so weird. <laughs> and then Gumbara just teleports up with me. Because there's no water to be seen here, so what? what's up with the water? Save. Now we get Bombette from my practice playthrough. She's one of my favorites so far. Which is funny because in Master Quest, I think they did her dirty, but in here she's like super good.
See, I believe I have some fire flowers left. Okay. So I'm gonna switch to Gumbaria. Hopefully I don't die in this fight. Otherwise I go back to that safe block. These are red bombs. I believe they are immune to fire. I'd be surprised if they were. Well, now they explode, and then we just have Gambaria jump on. I don't know if that would have been a good idea to use, uh, one of the curses, because I don't think fire instant kills them, but it does off. No. It's more effective against them. So, this was a recent change added to a Dark Star. Switch, switch to Bombette. Is so normally refund would be over here, but the idea of refund doesn't really make sense. In this challenge mode, instead, Shade Blade changed it to Item Finder. Essentially, just when enemies die, I'm more likely to get items from them. Pretty nice. I haven't seen it work all that well in this chapter. In the later chapters, it works a bit better. We need to go back. And bomb a wall and get a key. Specifically. Oops. Could have done that a little bit better, but it's just fine. Just annihilate this Koopa. Heal. That way you can't get FP. Oh, the camera. In my game, I'm trying to implement something similar to like a, that kind of camera change, and making sure that the the controls are smooth with the transition. Still trying to figure it out. Alright, let's go up here. Now we can continue. So I think past this door we would have been locked. And we'll just skip that fight. He has a paratrooper bomb and cheap. Cheap. Not a fight I would really want to go into. Key that's down here. 
This was always such a weird oversight. So there's like a crack in the wall that you can still go through it. I don't know if you can blow it up. This just still shows up as a crack in the wall. That's weird. Also, I didn't know this, but you can use this as a shortcut. I always like used to go all the way around. It's good to know that there's a shortcut there. Come on, there we go. Third time's the charm, I guess. I'm actually going to go outside real quick. I'm going to need to get some items, so I'll come right back. Also, I went to get this uh, extra FP plus here. It's right next to Cooper Bros Fortress. We just have to bomb this area right here. And we're back. So I went to go pick up a couple of things. Mainly power blocks, a dizzy block. That's it. Pretty much power blocks. That's you're gonna be necessary for two fights, not this upcoming one, but two other ones. I'm gonna switch to Gumbario here. So this is a you may not believe it, but it's a very late game enemy, <laughs> a Babu. I think it's like supposed to be able to play on a like a new or something. But hopefully we can get out of here. Also, one thing I noticed is uh you lose FP when you run away. I guess that's like the cost of running away. Because like you don't lose coins, so you had to lose some FP. Whenever you run away you lose two FP. So hopefully I can save before getting hit by a bullet bill, otherwise I'm dead. Not something I want to happen. So what I'm going to do is equip uh, the Dizzy Badge. Just as a precaution, because that'll prevent me from getting first struck or striked. It'll let me run away from battle. Because if an enemy is dizzy, it makes the uh it decreases the amount of A presses that you need to run away. So I believe in here is a honey syrup, but we don't really need it all too much. So we're just gonna keep running towards the the bullet bill launchers. We don't have to worry about our FP being depleted. Because there's just a heal block right here. I'm going to change my badges. Get rid of uh, Dizzy Attack. We'll put on power jump and I guess that's it. Item Finder's not really gonna get us anything. Alright, let's get into this fight. Tattle Gumbario. Then we're just gonna use power blocks. Have Gumbario do nothing, because he can't really do anything. I have him oops. I was gonna have him tattle the bullet bills, but it's fine. It's not like you get anything for tattling enemies in this game. Easy fight. 
God, we are so close to leveling up. Uh, maybe I could go fight a quick enemy. I think that's what I'll do. Be right back. Also, I forgot to show before, but it says HP is reached maximum. You can't increase it at all, so don't worry about that. Um, let's increase DP. I'll just supply just on the P+. There's nothing else I can do. Check my items. Yeah, I should be fine. I guess. For the boss fight. So normally I would tattle with Gumbario, or leave with Gumbario to tattle, but that's not gonna really work in this case. I know how much HP Bowser has. He has 12. So the way to beat this fight is actually kind of sneaky. Well, not sneaky if you know about it, but... So I didn't know about it. Essentially what we need to do is we need to get Bowser killed by Mario and then make sure that we have a turn left for Bombette. That way... Um, Bombette has a turn when they go into the Koopa Bros form. When they go into the Cooper Bros form, uh, Bombette can just bomb and knock them down. So we've done 9 damage. No, 7 damage. So if I do this, next turn Mario can kill. Otherwise, uh, if you used up both turns, the Cooper Bros would do their signature attack where they are stacked on top of each other and attack you and it does 8 damage. And there's no possible way at this point to be able to guard that much damage because you can guard and have like a Koopa Leaf to boost your defense, but that still does 6 damage. We just do Bomb. It knocks them all down. And the Mario is going to do Dizzy Dial, which is effective on all of them, thankfully. And then we have Bombette just bomb like crazy. I'm going to be using Pal Blocks to do damage on all of them. I don't believe it affects Green, though. He's immune to Earthquake attacks. As you can see there. But we don't have to worry about that because this bomb will take care of him. And I don't know why Yellow looks like he's dead. I guess because he has the uh, electrified status on him that it like messes up with his animation. Go for another bomb again. This should get rid of Yellow. Cooper Rose, fortunately for me, can't do anything. Should be the fight. That is the Cooper Bros. Figuring out this boss fight was so cool because it was like a like a puzzle kind of. I had to figure out exactly the right thing to do. And everything just fits like a glove. 